So are you guys sick of my panning projects yet? And you probably noticed if you've seen the last couple of videos that I filmed them all like the same night because uh, I am going to go into labor at any moment now, which is kind of a relief at this point. Um, I'm 39 weeks pregnant today and it's very exciting. I'm ready to um, take a break from work and take a break from YouTubing and blogging and all of this and probably makeup um, to spend quality baby time. So I'm really excited about that. So one thing I've discovered through project panning um, and, and doing these kinds of challenges over the last two months is that I don't like really large projects. Um, so for example, I tried to do the A to Z project pan where you choose a product for each letter of the alphabet, which is 26 products, which seems like a lot, but you have the whole year to do the project. And it just like, it was too much. Like I kept forgetting what was in the product, like which products they had chosen and which letters they went with, even though I had it all written down. Um, and I would like neglect certain projects and then I just didn't feel inspired by it. And it was just really not the right kind of project for me. Um, I find that I am more motivated by projects that have a theme. Um, so for example, like I'm doing the Seven Deadly Pans. I'm going to be doing a Harry Potter themed one later this year. Um, I like things like that, where you have to find products that are inspired by a different theme. Um, but I also like projects and challenges with a certain number, but like a small number of project products. So I like things with like five to 10 products um, that I can go through kind of quickly and that I can really focus in on. So, I'm kind of leaning more toward those types of projects now. So I have this project and I have one more that I'm gonna make a video for. And that's it until April when I start an Alice in Wonderland project that this I want. is my rotating 10 pan. And I like this because I can just move things in and out as I finish up product or something. I just put something else in. There's no pressure to keep certain products. It just one goes in, or sorry, one goes out, one goes in. So it's pretty flexible. I like that. And with this one, I have a couple of newer products. Um, in fact, I have one product that I literally have not even really used. I think I've used it like twice. But for the most part, I'm trying to get rid of some older products with this project. So most of these are from last fall or older. Um, most are even older than that, um, like early last year or older. So. It's good. I'm going to get some of these out of my collection so that I can get some new things in and get some use out of some other things that I haven't really gotten to experiment with yet. The first thing in here is this Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I know everybody was raving about this like last year and then nobody talked about it anymore. I love this stuff. I think it smells amazing. It makes my skin feel good. And it's definitely, definitely something I will repurchase after this sample is used up. But you can see as of like February, early March, that's where I'm at. So I actually still have, I feel like I use this all the time and I'm surprised that I still have like this much left, but I'm not complaining because I love this stuff. I do want to get more use out of it though and buy a full size eventually. In my last makeup basket video, I talked about this NYX butter lipstick in Root Beer Float. I don't even think they make these anymore. This is from like late 2015, early 2016. So this is definitely old and needing to be moved out of my collection. So I'm excited to work on this and get rid of it and move on to like the 70 other lipsticks that I have. So that's one that I'm excited to have in this project. I also have this Paparazzi Silver Nail Polish. I almost never paint my nails. So this is going to be really challenging, but it's been in a drawer forever and I don't want to get like gross and clumpy. So I really want to use this up. The MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer, which I bought because out of the lip primers on Ulta, this one had great reviews and was also reasonably priced. It's not that impressive, but I'm going to use it up and make sure I really know what I think of it because I haven't used it enough to be like, I hate this. So I think, um, so I think using it a little more and getting some, 
some more time to play with it is going to be good and I'll be able to move it along if I'm not enjoying it uh, by putting it through this rotating pan. The Pacifica, this Pacifica blush, blush I got in an Ipsy really, really early last year. And you can see I've made like some decent progress. This is more progress than I've made on like most of the blushes I've own, I own. Uh, because we all have like, like one or two products that are like our downfall products where it's like we have a million of them and we could still buy more. I'm kind of like that with blushes. I own a ton of them and I still want to buy them all the time and I have no idea why because they're like the worst thing in the world to try and use up to. But this is a lot more progress than I have on a lot of my blushes. This is a darker wintry kind of blush. I dropped it, which is why the piece is broken off on the lid. But I want to use that up so that um, it doesn't get funky and it gets some love and I enjoy using it. It is a pretty color. Like I said, it's a little more wintry. We're heading into spring, so I want to try and use it now while, I mean, I don't know. I'm not really like, I can't wear this darker blush because it's summertime, but I do tend to like something a little peachier or pinker in the summer. So I want to use this while things are still kind of wintry here. This ColourPop shadow in Mittens is a just a dark matte brown. Um, people have told me these are not difficult to pan and I love using them so I thought it would be a fun product to use in the rotating pan. It also matches well with a lot of the colors in my Pan That palette for this year which is the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals palette. So I am able to pair it with a lot of other shadows that I already own and I want to use that up or at least hit pan on it. I am also trying to pan the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This is a good concealer. I don't love it like more than any other concealer in the whole world but I don't dislike it uh, for the couple of bucks you pay for it. It's definitely worth it and um, I have no problem using this. I've been using this almost every day for a month. So I am looking forward to using it up and trying a couple other concealers that I have laying around. But I'm, I would definitely repurchase it if I found that some of the other concealers were not better. This Lash Domination Mascara probably has another, this is from Bare Minerals by the way, um, this probably has another month or two in it before it's like dry and bad. So I just want to use up as much as possible. This was a gift with purchase and again, I don't love it. I don't hate it. I probably wouldn't repurchase this one because it's not one of my favorite mascaras, but it deserves to be used up. It does have like a really cool little, I don't know, this reminds me of like some kind of fruit or something. It has this really spiny little applicator. I don't know, it reminds me of some kind of like prickly pear or something. It's very cute. And yeah, it's an okay mascara. And then finally, this is the one that I've only used a couple times. This is the Hemp's um, Aroma Body Herbal Moisturizer. It's just like a regular lotion. Um, this is in Milk and Honey, and I wish you could smell it through the computer because it smells amazing. But um, it's very moisturizing. I like it as a hand lotion in particular. It's the travel size, so it's easy to throw in my purse or keep at my desk. And like I said, I haven't used it a lot, but I don't feel like it's going to be difficult to use up. It's only 2.25 fluid ounces, so I'm pretty confident that I can use that up as well. The nice thing about the rotating 10 pan is that there's no time limit on it. If I finish them tomorrow, then I just put another product in. If I finish them next year, I'm going to be a little disappointed because it's a lot of time, but there's really no rules and I like that. There's no pressure and I can use these up as they fit into my collection and my routine and all of that. So that's that project. If you are working on a rotating project pan of some sort, please link that below so I can check out what you're doing and subscribe to your channel and please subscribe to mine 
and I will be back with my final video, which is my Project Pan Roulette, pretty soon.